Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Zelf, and this is sort of like an update video on the whole Minecraft thing. Um, so this is the entrance to my lair. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the inside, and after that, we're gonna show you the outside and what the guys have done so far. So over here is where my hidden base is. FYI, they all found it like shortly after I posted that video because apparently someone saw it and told them. So they all saw it, so they all know where my secret base is. Um, so this is the door. Now this is what I've made so far. I have the bed. This thing is like a chair. And if you want to do some writing, eating, whatever over here. This is supposed to be somewhat like a kitchen. You know, you have the fireplace. Not really a flat fireplace, but fire. And then I guess you can cook stuff. Some, uh, some place where you can store stuff. Okay, and then... Over here, we have a music room. Um, so this is actually a radio or some sort. They can actually play stuff. So if I come over here and let's say, let's take, uh, I think this is not bad. Oh wait, I need to put it over here to use it and put it in. And my pet bird will actually dance. I don't know how to make him face the front though. So currently he is sort of like facing this direction and dancing. But yeah, so this is where you kind of listen to music and just enjoy the game, I guess. Okay, enough of that. We're not here to listen to music. We have more important things to do. Now sadly, what happened here? Do I have extra? Nope. Uh, I'll have to patch that up soon. So sadly, I don't really know what to do with that whole huge hole that I talked about. But I do want to show you what it has become. So this is the uh, the secret door, right? So it, it kind of looks like this. So people would think that, oh, is this a storage room? But no, if you go in and then you can open this, right? you can close this and it's a secret base. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> ready? Let's go. This is the room. Now I have some issues with this room. One of the issues is that it needs to be bright because otherwise zombies will spawn. So initially I had some trouble because I didn't know about that. And then after that I start putting a uh, torch everywhere, but it doesn't look nice. So long story short, I got the, the guys to help the girls. Um, and one, someone suggested to use these. These are actually individual lights. So by putting lights in the whole place i don't need to have torches and you kind of have this whole vibe of being a uh, simulation room or a testing room uh, where you fight or you i don't know drive around the batmobile for example and yeah but the more i think about it uh, with the metal door and everything i feel like this place is kind of like if there's a nu nuclear outbreak outside you know this is where you come in with all your backup food and stuff uh, and just stay here hide down here until the time is right it's basically uh i don't know that's that's what i feel it's going to be it's really not that impressive considering that everything's just it's basically just a big hole but sadly it was found out before i could surprise them um but still some of them seem kind of surprised the fact that I dug something so big. Um, now let me show you what they have done because there's a lot of updates. I may have missed some stuff. Um, sorry if I did, but let's just take a look. Now this used to be our first place where we kind of stopped and it has turned into a storage room. <clears throat> so yep, there's fishes down there. It's like glass I don't know how they do these things but from what I can see it's oh let's continue out they made a a barn let me show you the barn oh yeah trying to jump over fences something that I learned the hard way in my last video um, so over here we have the barn we have all kinds of animals here uh, sheep llama What's up here? Oh, sheep and llama, and more llama. 
Oh, those seems like special kind of llama. Ooh, what just happened? And I don't know where the cows are. I'm pretty sure they're somewhere hidden. Uh, one thing that I feel like is really interesting is this part. They kind of made this so that you don't have to, uh, or it's an easier way to farm. So let me show you how it works. You click on this, and then water comes in. It destroys the, the paddy, right? So everything, where did everything go? <laughs> oh, everything goes into the box? What? Holy Jesus. Uh, before, the first time I came here and saw this, it doesn't go into the box, but it seems like now everything does go into the box. And then what you basically do is you stop the water. And then I guess you're supposed to get the seeds. I think I have some seeds in my inventory. And then you plant them. Ooh, oh crap. We'll come back and fix this. <laughs> Let's see. So this one will be for here. You can get, oh, carrots. Nice. Okay. Um, that is the barn and the farm. We also have, what else is there? Oh, this thing. I actually don't know what this thing is. So we're going to figure it out right now. Um, uh, again, made of glass. Oh, I think this is the place where you either enchant, you boil, I don't know, you cook. There's one whole part over here that kind of connects it, connects it, has been destroyed in order to make space for these things. Um, oh, um, they also made this. So before this is just a hill, they added the tree. So they basically built their own tree and then the leaves and everything so that there's a portal here while well, my friend made his his man cave over here i could show you um and i don't know how he did this but it's really amazing you step on it it opens up like jeez and then basically yeah this is his his place of harmony i don't know I like mine more. I have a music room. But to be honest, his one does look prettier. They added these, which is basically train tracks. I don't really know what they are for. They made a re another restaurant over here. Right, there's the upstairs, which oh, I guess we can go and take a look. Look at all these pictures. Uh, the effort that went into it. Okay. Oh, God. And uh, let's take a look at... Oh, yeah, the library. So the last last episode of this particular showcasing. Uh, my friend was making a library. So let's take a look at that library. Ta-da! It looks like this now. And I think this is where you enchant your items uh, it's supposed to be like it's not supposed to you're not supposed to hear the fire but it's supposed to be a mystic smoky uh, place where you enchant stuff it's all about trying to create that effect which I think did really well and I don't know if you realize this but there is a giant bee here which they also made for the bee garden crazy stuff and oh yeah I remember now. They also made a giant something. Let's see if we can see it from here and if it's uh if it looks good. Oh, oh I actually need to eat. Chicken. It's a dog. It's a giant dog. And it's really cute. Looks kinda like a husky due to the shading, the color. Okay, so um oh yeah, there's also the uh the barn. Uh, the barn, I've shown you one of it. The other one is not really a barn. I would say it's more like, a, it's also, a, it's like a barbecue place. But the difference is that uh, they actually have their own farm. So this is supposed to be a steak. I guess it's a steakhouse. So this is where they cook it and serve it. And here are all the pigs. I really don't know where they... Where they hide all the uh, the cows, but this is where all the pigs are. Okay, and the ramen shop. Uh, pretty sure we we talked about it, but 
it wasn't finished before and now it's done there's like a hidden staircase at the back and then yep again a lot of effort i just want to show you guys what they've done so far um, i also want to let you guys know what uh, happened to the thing that I was doing uh, sadly it wasn't a surprise anymore but we did kind of complete the objective we dug a huge hole and right now it's empty I don't really know how to decorate it and to be honest I don't even know how to get those materials to be filling it up with lights so if it wasn't for them uh, I wouldn't be able to make it oh what is this Okay, so that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. And who knows, maybe there might be more stuff to show in the future. But for now, I just want to say that I'm really proud of what they can do. So good job, guys. And bye-bye.